Hey everyone, Ethan Word here from Word Tech, and I've got another unboxing for you guys today. So I actually decided to go ahead and go get a new camera for the channel today. Figured I'm beyond 250 subscribers now, it's time to up the video quality a little bit and whatnot, and uh, also make it a little easier for me to film. And eventually I'll be getting a lavalier mic for the phone, that I'm, which is the HTC 10 that I'm filming this on right now. So this is the last video that you should see that will be of this quality. Everything else should be up from here. Uh, and then the audio quality will uh, be better here in probably a couple weeks. So anyway, uh, I decided to go ahead and go buy the Panasonic G7, which uh, is known to be a really good value camera. It's a micro four thirds uh, sensor. So there's a lot of lenses and whatnot for it. Um, it's known to compete fairly well, surprisingly, with like the GH4 and stuff. And considering that it's close to half the price, that's pretty impressive. And the GH4 is starting to get old. The video quality on this is known to be right, pretty much on par with it. Image quality, the GH4 does win, but not by a huge margin. I'll cover all that in uh, some sample videos and sample images that I'll do in the review, not in this, um, this unboxing here. So you may see that video being filmed with this as well. Uh, so make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you even want to see a review of this or if you just want some quick sample shots and you're good to go. So anyway, I just picked this up from Best Buy about uh, 30 minutes ago. Haven't opened it yet. I know what it looks like, of course, because, well, there's an image on the box. But anyway, um, and there's not a lot of information on the box here, to be honest. It just says 16 megapixels. Uh, there's, you know, a few things talking about, like, how it shoots in 4K and whatnot, which is cool. But, um, you know, not really a huge advertisement amount on the box, which actually I like to see. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it. Let's open it up, and let's hope it's not, you know, broken from Best Buy because as you can see the box is a little torn up which concerned me just a little but as long as the camera's okay I really don't care. Uh, we got documentation, um, we've got uh, right here we've got some firmware update warnings so you'll want to update your firmware when you get it. It's uh, explaining what the firmware update is. You've got your manuals and everything. Let's open this up really quick just to see what's in it. Uh, Alright we got your driver CD that nobody will use. We've got uh, the lens lineup, that's actually nice, a lens lineup guide. Uh, a bunch of random documentation like manuals and stuff. Nothing that looks particularly important, so we won't pay attention to any of that. All right, getting into it. Yeah, see what I mean though? The box is like cut up, ripped up. I really hope that it is okay in here. I hope, it might have been a returned one maybe or something. Um, you know, returned brand new, but the box had been ripped or something. So anyway, here. And this is, you know, an interchangeable lens camera and everything. It is a mirrorless camera. So I'll go over the accessories first before we hit the camera, which is surprisingly light. So, of course, you've got your charger, external battery charger. I do like to see that. You know. All right, yeah, you get your USB cable here that you can use. Uh, it does come with the battery. Uh, of course, you can always buy more batteries if you need it. It does come with a shoulder strap here. Or a neck strap, actually, was what I usually use these as. But, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice one. Uh, fairly generic, but it does feel nice. It does. It's not a uh, vinyl. It's actually like a, a fake leather right there, which I appreciate. Uh, cheaper cameras usually have vinyl. Uh, we've got the lens cover thing here. I always forget the technical name for these because I'm, you know, stupid. So anyway, yeah. So we got your uh, lens screw on cover here. Again, forgot what those are called, but it comes with one of those with the kit lens, which is really nice. Uh, there are some kits that don't come with those. And now we got the lens here, which is a pretty basic kit lens, uh, although it's actually been rated fairly high as a kit lens, um, but it is a 14 to 42 millimeter, so I mean, you've got a little bit of play in there. Generally, you know, what I'm using this camera for is just filming videos for you guys and whatnot, taking some close-up pictures. This should do just fine for that, um, but I may eventually get like a 12 to 35 or something like that and then also get a zoom just because you know when I'm out on trips or whatever but actually a pretty nice looking kit lens um, it's got you know covers on both sides of course uh, but yeah I actually it, it's been rated well so we'll see how that is but here's the part we've been waiting for right here's the camera and it's so surprisingly lightweight I mean of course the battery and the lens aren't on right now but even so I feel like I could you know, it might be a little scary seeing me do that, but it's it's that lightweight. I feel like I can toss it and not have to worry about it. You know, it is um, 
The big thing between like this and the GH4, GH4 and a lot of hi other higher end cameras are made of metal. This is made of plastic. Now it's thick plastic. There's not a lot of like flex in it. If I push on it kind of hard, that it doesn't feel like it's flexing. So I mean, it feels good, but it's probably not gonna last as long as metal. Although my opinion always is, you know, take care of your camera. Um, of course, you know, this isn't weather sealed. So if you, if you really need to do pictures outdoors or something, I'd recommend going with the GH4 because it's weather sealed and it's metal so you know if you drop it or something you're fine but generally speaking this is fine especially for my use of indoor i figured save the money for uh getting something like this anyway though just a quick overview you've got all your buttons uh right there uh, and you've got your articulating touch screen here it is nice to see a touch screen on a camera uh this price that also is an interchangeable lens and everything uh, i know sony has some that also include a touch screen but still i do like to see that and there are custom function buttons on a touch screen that you can program to stuff You've got your lens cover here, you've got a nice flash and everything. Uh, movie button's up here, you're not really going to bump it, which is nice. Shutter button. You do have uh, custom dials here, which is really nice. Uh, I really appreciate seeing custom dials on it, especially multiple ones on a camera of this price. Um, and overall, it's, it's really good looking. So anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing there. Uh, this is the, again, the Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, been really well rated if you guys want to see a full review of it let me know or I could just put up a video that is you know me talking about um, you know or sh basically giving you guys some uh, shots that it's taken as well as some uh, video samples if that's what you guys care about I'll be honest I'm not a super big camera guy at least not yet you know I know how to you know take deep, good pictures and whatnot but I am not as a uh, you know deep into the technical terms and everything for it yet so uh, my review if it was a review you know is going to be more my opinions of how it feels and how the images come out so if you guys just want to see some quick samples and stuff let me know and i'll do that or if you want to see a full review i'll do that as well anyway though thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do subscribe please also set up for email updates uh, down there there's a little settings cog next to the subscribe button and you can have them send you email updates uh, we upload at least once a week every monday uh, but generally we're trying to do Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So uh, there's quite a bit of video content coming out right now. And again, thank you for watching.